do you even wonder why nung nag-announce ang DMC and SEC ng kanilang dividends, eh, instead na umangat yung price nila, eh, nag-drop pa? Yun yung pag-uusapan natin on this specific video. By the way, this is a recording coming from the Stockwentuhan ha, na ginawa natin yesterday. I'll place the link dito sa my description box sa baba. And then, I'll also place one on the card dito sa taas. By the way, in case you don't know, Stockwin 200 is a regular live session na ginagawa natin every Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, no? At around 8 to 8 or 8.30 p.m. So, I hope you can join us on uh, the next iteration. So, make sure to like and subscribe our channel. At the same time, follow us on our Facebook page. Dividend announcement on GMA7, DMC, and SEC. Why it did not reflect on an increase in the price on the day of the announcement and it even caused price to fall down? Well, my first question is, why should it? No? Kasi an announcement is just basically a, a form of a catalyst. Okay? Na nagsasabi na, hey guys, we have, an, a, we have a dividend. No? Now, hindi lahat ng catalyst kailangan mag-react ang market. Okay? Now, for this particular one, sa announcement kasi specifically kay DMC at saka kay SCC, uh, actually down sila kanina, di ba? Um, and the reason behind that, again, this is just my, ano, kumbaga, point of view lang naman, no? Ng isang tagalabas. Okay? Why hindi, hindi umangat sila DMC and SCC? It's because the dividend that that they have expecting is not that good. Okay? It's not that good. Why? Let me try and show you this. So, from Edge, tingnan natin si DMC, ha? Remember, ang nagpapagalaw sa isang presyo is the market sentiment. If the market sentiment is good, then the likelihood of the price going up will be high. Pero kung hindi naman ganun kaganda yung sentiment, then tendency is yung price, it will go down or it will drop. No? Relative to how positive or negative that news is for the traders. Okay? So, and I'll go to dividends and rights. Okay, and then let me show you what I mean. So, si DMC ay nabigay siya ng dividend, right? Ang napansin ko sa kanya nung nire-review ko siya kanina, let's look at this one. So, ang naging presyohan is 0.34 at saka 0.14. So, si 0.34, this is the regular dividend, while si 0.14 is a special dividend. If you add both of them, magiging 0.48, correct? 0.34 plus 0.14. Okay. So, 0.48 lang. Now, let's try to move yung mga previews na, na declaration ng dividend. For example, October, 0.48. April 12, last year, 35 plus 13. That is still 48. Okay? So, what does what does this tell us? So, the uh, CDMC, si it moves the price, di ba? Maganda yung pricing niya eh. Umaangat, buhawa, pero ngayon, paangat yung presyo niya. Now, ang problema na nakita ko dito is that yung dividend rate or yung dividend payout nila, hindi nag-change. Nasa 0.48 pa din. Ako kasi, to be honest, I, I am expecting na sabi ko maganda sana yung magiging magiging dividend nito and I was hopeful na medyo mas mataas naman sa 0.48 no? pero ang nangyari is same lang okay now I'm not saying that this is the only reason why okay kasi iniisip ko rin another reason kung bakit hindi rin umangat si, uh, si DMC is because pwedeng it's a Friday no and uh, medyo notorious yung mga recent Fridays natin wherein nagda-drop yung price Okay, so hindi nakatulong yung part na yon. Ngayon, bakit nagda-drop ng price every every Friday? Or hindi man lagi, no? but at least on the sentiment, bakit madalas nagkakaroon ng sell-off during Friday? I tried to make a research and uh, here's one thing that I have figured out. Okay? And uh, that is because 
traders are usually playing safe. No? They are playing safe. Why? Kasi, imagine, uh, we are coming on our Friday, tapos merong dalawang day off. We have the weekends, Saturday and Sunday. And then, resume tayo ng Monday. Now, yung Saturday and Sunday na yon, a lot of things can happen. Pwedeng positive, pwedeng negative. Diba? Pero, because the traders are trying to be cautious, kung maga nagsi-safety, nagsi-safety net na muna sila, then that's a time na sabi nila, okay, I won't risk it, benta muna ako. Okay? Kasi marami pwede mangyari on the, on, on the weekends. Eh. E pa, maganda kung positive, e paano kung negative news? E di, it will drag down the market naman pagdating ng lunes. Diba? And yun yung iniiwasan nila. Okay? So, ayun. Uh, the reason on this particular case na sa nakikita ko, uh, kung bakit hindi umaangat yung price and instead ng drop is because, number one, yung nakita natin na, ano, na numbers, no, hindi nag-change. While the expectation is, sana man lang medyo umangat ng konti. Okay? Now, the second one is, of course, the Friday. Okay? So, ayan.